Hi guys, I'm Laura from Tribes Chalks Interiors. Join me today for my next project. As soon as I saw this piece, I knew it had bags of potential. I've worked on pieces like this before and you can really make them look gorgeous with a little bit of paint and TLC. Here is how it looked when I picked it up. It's a little bit worse for wear, so it's time to give it some love. So first up, I used some white spirit and wire wool to remove all of the wax from the piece. I then cleaned the piece and used my sander to scuff sand all over to create a key for the paint to adhere to. I then grabbed my bells and whistles thingamajig and some black Dixie mud. I'm going to use this to fill in all of the holes from where I removed the previous handles. Next step, I'm going to clean the entire piece with some white lightning and a microfiber cloth. After I've cleaned all of that, I will then come back with some water and just rinse it all off again. Here is how the piece looks now. I've removed all of the handles, filled the holes, stripped the wax, cleaned and sanded. And now we're ready to get the paint out. So I've decided to go with terra clay paint on this piece. It's the perfect artisanal paint. There's no rules. You can create lots of texture and lots of artistic finishes. I wanted to use Moonbeam as a textured base coat for this piece. I've left it out on a plate for a couple of hours to really thicken up and as you can see it is now the perfect consistency to give me a lot of texture. Using a premium chip brush I'm now going to stipple on the Moonbeam paint. As you can see I'm doing this to create some texture by just randomly dabbing the paint on here there and everywhere so that we've got a thick uneven layer of paint. In my opinion the more texture the better however if you try this technique and you find that once it's dry it's a little bit too rough for your liking then you can just come back with some sandpaper and just finely sand off the bits that you don't like now here's the little look with one coat of moonbeam you can see how textured it is and you can also see the amazing coverage that you can get with moonbeam just with one coat once that's dry, I've grabbed my Galaxy paint. This is a really dark and delicious blue. As you can see, I'm just putting it on randomly again. I don't want any uniformity to this piece. I want this to look like it's just been dragged out of an old industrial warehouse with layers and layers of old worn paint. So I'm just gonna continue cross hatching this all over. I don't want to completely cover the moonbeam as I want you to be able to see that poking through. Once that's all dry, I come back with a second coat. Again, I'm just doing this very randomly. I'm just covering up any bits of white that I think is excessive, but still leaving a large amount of the white visible. Now I've grabbed my Big Daddy brush and some Onyx, which is the black in the Terra Clay paint line. I'm going to just roughly dry brush this on, randomly all over the piece, just to add another layer of grunge. Now it's time to sand with a fine grit sandpaper. As you can see, I'm mainly focusing on the draw edges, but I will lightly go over the whole piece, just to smooth it off slightly. Now that I'm happy with how the Terra looks, I'm sealing it all in with some Terra Seal in flat. I'm applying two coats all over the piece. Now for even more grunge, I'm going to use some gilding wax in bronze. I love using these metallic waxes for this, as I think it gives a really lovely rusty look on the drawer edges. Then I'll just buff off the excess with a rag. Last but not least, it's time to fit the hardware. So I'm going for cup handles and card holders for the apothecary style on this piece. I'll measure to make sure they're in the right location, then I'll drill a pilot hole and then screw in to secure. Are you ready to see the final look? Here she is. Here's a close-up so you can see the texture and all those gorgeous layers of paint. I think this piece has so much character and has been a real joy to work on. 
I find terra clay paint to be so much fun to work with and the possibilities are endless. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video and feel inspired to start your next project. Remember, you can find us at Cherubs Chalks Interiors on all of the social media platforms and you can also subscribe to our channel here to be notified when we next post. Thank you for watching and see you next time.